Hello, today we have a, a brand new inverter that uh, we launched uh, earlier this year. This is our 11 kilowatt Ultramax Conversol. Uh, it is the biggest single phase inverter in the market right now with 11 kilowatt dual AC output. The inverter has, uh, equipped, has been equipped with uh, uh, two independent MPPT chargers. This time we increase the capacity of our uh, charge controllers uh, by one kilowatt so the old 11 kilowatt had around five and a half kilowatt MPPT charger and this one is six kilowatt for its MPPTs. There is a plethora of uh, new features on the Ultramax. The Ultramax has uh, two AC outputs first of all you can see here on the screen two independent outputs. The first output is always activated and it can supply full power 11 kilowatts at unity power factor the second output it is programmed you can uh, switch it on and off specific uh, uh, hours during the day you can enable disable it or you can have it permanently on um, uh, uh, in the sa at the same time with uh, the output uh, one uh, at this case the output power will be divided by two so you get approximately five and a half kilowatts on its uh, output uh, this new unit is uh, suitable for AGM batteries, user-defined batteries. User-defined batteries means you can enter your own uh, charging and discharging parameters for the batteries, whether you have lithium-ion or lead-acid batteries. And of course, it works with a big range of um, uh, lithium-ion batteries like the US 5000, US 3000, Pylon Tech, Dynas and uh, many others. We like a lot the new screen without knowing much about your uh, your own inverter by looking at this round uh, screen and the touch screen at this point you can uh, have very quickly the most important diagnostics of your system. We added it the temperature of the inverter, the internal temperature and the temperature of the inverter bridge so you know at any time if your inverter has any issues with, uh, uh, with the temperature. This feature was not available with, uh, within the other uh, inverters. We like a lot the fact that we now have two AC independent inputs. You can connect the grid and the generator. And that means you can switch between two sources or you can uh, charge the batteries from two independent uh, AC sources at 230-240 volts. Last but not least, our um, Conversor Ultra is now equipped with uh, four communication ports and Wi-Fi connection. The Wi-Fi transmitter is pre-installed. You don't have to buy any extra hardware. There is a free app from the Apple and Google Store. Uh, the name of the app is iSolar. We don't use the watch power anymore for this uh, inverter. We have a, a new application called iSolar. It's free of charge and you don't have to buy any extra license. Now, uh, the serial port uh, 1, the COM1, is uh, the port where we can connect an external battery temperature sensor. By feeding this information uh, back to the battery, uh, we can really... Uh, optimize the, the charging process and, to, and we can extend the battery life cycle. The COM2 is the BMS communication terminal. You need a special cable. You have to, to get this cable from the manufacturer of the battery or you can talk to Voltacon and they will make one but you have to be very careful to get the special cable that communicates with your lithium-ion battery. Uh, the serial connection, COM3, uh, this one is mainly for uh, communicating with your computer or uh, your laptop. There is a bundled uh, CD-ROM in, uh, in the box. You can install the software and uh, control your inverter locally. This is not for remote monitoring. And the serial connection COM4, this is a, a special one. First time we uh, use one of these ports on a solar inverter. It is used to... Um, uh, control a ground fault circuit uh, interruptor or an arc fault circuit interruptor. Uh, you need to get more information from uh, the manufacturer of uh, the ground fault device, but the port is there and you can use it to enhance the protection of uh, your solar photovoltaic system. This is the main uh, picture of uh, our menu. 
what we did here in the new uh, uh, inverter we have already put the key information on some touch buttons so if you're gonna read about your solar you press here and you see the PV uh, production AC input information about your battery that's the main menu information about the load information about the inverter uh, and the MPPT uh, fan the temperature and some other key parameters of uh, the machine as uh, it is running uh, during the day and here we have the version of uh, the inverter you can read about the firmware of the system what is new here if you're going to enter the any menu you have to press here center and then you click this dot and you slide up or down and this is how it works yes in the center and we slide up and down and to enter you press the dot in the middle this inverter has a, another very special feature if you want to uh, update the firmware you don't have to to buy the programming cable anymore the firmware is available online the moment there is a firmware online your inverter can uh, install it automatically or you can do this manually but it's very easy to to keep up with uh, the firmware updates the control screen is connected to this ribbon connector we remove our screen from the inverter so we can access now the terminals we have the input from the generator or the grid master output one slave output two there is a an earth bus bar at the bottom this is also a new feature we don't have the earth terminal anymore here we moved it down for easier access the inverter is uh, also connected to a parallel communication kit you can put up to six inverters in parallel if you want this is the PV input we eliminated the MC4 connectors for simplicity you can connect uh, up to six mil PV cables straight to our this uh, Phoenix uh, power terminals and on this side we have the PV uh, sorry that's uh, the battery input positive and negative there is another special terminal here we are going to talk about this in a bit this is where we connect our current sensor for uh, self-consumption I will show you right now how we will make use of the current sensor uh, input terminal that is down there the gray terminal using a current transformer we can convert this off-grid inverter to a hybrid inverter the in this operating mode we use only the AC input which is actually the point where we inject power back to the switch uh, gear or the consumer unit of uh, your property the AC input the grid is connected back to the consumer unit and you clamp this to the incoming power supply that way the inverter is going to compensate for uh, the energy that you are using at home and it's going to feed energy from the batteries the solar panels and the grid if the batteries cannot support the load then the grid is going to feed the loads in parallel with uh, the inverter uh, the last important feature since we are talking about the grid operation this inverter has an integrated AC timer that means you can charge your batteries uh, at night with uh, low energy tariff I hope you found our video useful and remember the power to be independent